guys and welcome back. This is going to be a very short video, but I wanted to quickly go over my AM and PM skincare routine. So it is currently uh, 7.15 PM and I am going to wash off the makeup from the day and um, I figured I would just show you the steps that I do. I am currently on Accutane. I've been on it for four months now. So my skincare routine is very basic and simple. It's mostly just about keeping the moisture in my skin. I'm not really treating my skin a whole lot right now just because I am on Accutane and that is, you know, treatment. So the products that I am using are very gentle and nourishing. So good for some dry sensitive skin. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna talk a little bit about the products as I go. I need to get something to pull my hair back and we'll dive right in. Okay, if you've seen any of my skincare videos, some of this is probably gonna be repetitive. I do have one new item that I've been testing out but for the most part, I kind of stick to what I like. I always pull my hair back with this lovely, gorgeous bow tie thing. Bow tie, bow, whatever. This back, and then I always twist and just tuck my hair in the band so I don't have to use a hair tie or anything. Don't you always hate taking off makeup that you really like? Like, I loved my eyes today. Okay, my first step in my skincare routine at night, if I, did wear makeup that day is the Innis Free Cleansing Oil with Green Tea. This is my second bottle of this. I absolutely love this stuff. It's gentle, it doesn't hurt my eyes, it gets the makeup off. I really enjoy this. So I normally just take a couple of pumps of this, rub it between my hands, and then I gently just massage the makeup off. And I start with my face, and then I'll go to the eyes, But this is a really good time to do some facial massage since it's an oil it's really you know slippery um and a lot of times when i have like this amount of makeup when i have a bunch of makeup on my eyes i'll take another just a little bit on my fingertips and then i start to work this on the eyes so i'll kind of let that soak and then i just gently get all the mascara off and then I look like a raccoon. But then I just take the water and wash this away. So let me do that and be back. So after I get the cleansing oil off, I go in with my second cleanse, which I'm already doing because I didn't press record. But this is the First Aid Beauty Pure Skin Face Cleanser. I'll get a little bit more water in my hands and this does suds up. It's not right now since I'm not adding water to it, but I will in a second. But this is a super gentle cleanser. When I first started Accutane, even the CeraVe was burning my face. So I started using this and this works wonders if you have very sensitive skin. So I'm going to go lather this up and rinse it off. Okay, after that is rinsed, I gently pat my face dry and then I go in with my eye cream. I've been using this for several, several years now. This is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Eye and I feel like this is the only eye cream Cream. I feel like this is the only eye cream that I've actually seen a difference with. Um, it's really good for darkness under the eyes. I used to have much darker under eyes, um, and when I don't use this consistently, my eyes get darker. So I just squirt a little bit out, and then I will tap this in. And then I also bring it a little bit on the upper part of the eyes too. Then just pat that in. And I normally do my eye cream first because it protects that area from any other more harsh products that you may put on your face. I'm not putting anything harsh on my face right now, but if you use any acids or stuff, you put your eye cream down first, it'll protect that area from those acids. So the last step I do is I use a, this is an essence lotion, but it's just my moisturizer. This is the Lotus Pure Jeju Island. I don't know if that's how you say that, but this is their Lotus Leaf Essence Lotion. Now, I bought this to replace my 111 Skin Cryo Activating Hydro Gel. This is the best thing on the planet, and it costs $200, so I was looking for a substitute for that. And so I researched some ingredients to see what was in that, See if I can come close. The 1-on-1 skin is aloe and a lotus base. 
the base ingredients are those two. And so I was looking for something that was either aloe and lotus or just lotus. And this line, they have several different lotus products. And this is the one I went with because it doesn't have a base of water. It has a base of lotus. So with all that being said, um, I've used, you know, this much of it and I am liking it. I use a couple of pumps of this. And I find that the Lotus stuff just has, it's just wonderful at balancing the skin out. It moisturizes, it's a thinner, more gel-like texture, but it uh, it's still deeply hydrating and moisturizing. I really enjoy this. I don't need anything additional on top of this. That's all. So I know that was kind of boring and simple. I just use four products at night. And if I'm not uh, if I'm not wearing makeup, I just go in with this cleanser and I don't use the oil because I don't need it. Um, so I'm ready for bed now. I'm gonna just go over my morning routine. It's not much different. Um, I use two products. <laughs> I'm very, well, no, scun sunscreen. What is sunscreen? Sunscreen. Um, so in the morning, my skin has gotten to where it tolerates things a little more. So I do use this one in the morning. This is the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. And this is just really, uh, it's really moisturizing. And since my skin can tolerate it now, it's just a simple kind of rinse off the skin in the morning with this. And then I go in with the Lotus Essence Lotion. And that's all I do in the morning, except for my sunscreen. I haven't really been going outside, so I'm honestly not using this every single day because I'm not going anywhere. But my favorite one is the Elta MD. Um, this is the Broad Spectrum SPF 41 Lightly Tinted Sunscreen. This one is not too um, slick and oily and greasy. It's a really good one to use under makeup. It doesn't slide around. And I also enjoy this one. It's not the best I've ever used, but this is the La Roche-Posay Melt-In Sunscreen Melt. This is SPF of 60. And this one is a little bit more um, on the hydrating, dewy, slightly greasy side. So if you have oily skin, I'm not sure that you would like this, but it works for me. And I just have to make sure I put it on way before makeup so it doesn't affect the finish of my makeup or doesn't make it slide around or gunk up. So those are my two sunscreens at the moment. Um, I also do wear BB creams, but I, I put a sunscreen under those because you can't put enough of a BB cream on to get that full SPF. You have to use, oh, if you, if you haven't watched my sunscreen video, go watch my sunscreen video. It goes into more depth of how much you're supposed to use to get the full SPF and kind of all the science behind that. So I'm thinking about doing a part two to that video for this coming summer, assuming that we actually get to go outside at some point. <laughs> but that's gonna be it for this video. And sorry, it was super simple, but thought I would, while we're all just stuck inside, talk about some skincare. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already and you wanna see future videos, hit that subscribe button down below. I'll see you guys next time. Stay gorgeous, bye. All right, guys, thank, why am I pointing? <laughs> Broad Spectrum SPF 60. SPF, yes. <laughs> hey guys, and no voice.